USG, urine specific gravity, is another strong indicator of kidney function. It's a urine measurement, so it's not technically blood work, it's lab work. But when you go in for your annual visit or a sick patient visit, they're going to try to collect urine. So the urine specific gravity is another measure of kidney function. So first of all, let's explain what we're comparing it to and why it matters. So pure water has a specific gravity of 1.000. You get pure water, it's the same as distilled water. You get that by boiling water. The vapor or steam that comes off when you boil water gets collected in a system and it condenses, which it means it turns back to water droplets once its temperature gets low enough that it's no longer steam. And that is pure water because it was steam before. You boil off a whole pot of water, you're going to see a white film in the bottom of the pan. That's all the solutes, the soluble, dissolvable stuff that was in the water. But what you collect from steam is distilled. That's officially, technically distilled water. So that's pure water. It has a measurement of 1.000. Here is a picture of how it looks on the little refractometer that we look through to measure it. The blue line is kind of where the water is sitting on the scale. So you can see it's a very specific measurement. It's not just one, it's not 1.0, it's three decimal places, 1.000. It's pure distilled water. So what we want to see in the urine, since the kidney's job is to remove waste products, we don't wanna see pure water. We wanna see some amount of stuff in the urine. The normal range is variable, but somewhere between 1.015 and 1.035, somewhere in the middle range there, is what you want to see. That means that there's some normal amount of waste product or solutes in the urine. So what does this mean if your dog's having kidney problems or something like that? If you measure the urine and the urine specific gravity is below 1.015, that means, or that suggests, that the kidneys are not putting waste products into the urine. They're just putting water into the urine and not enough waste products. So if you also have an elevated BUN and creatinine and there's not enough waste product in the urine and the USG is low, that's just another strong indicator that there's a kidney problem, okay? So if it's above 1.035, that's usually dehydration. And one more thing about this, you're gonna hear the vet say it a little differently than I'm saying it. Instead of 1.0, 015, they're going to say 1015. They're just going to eliminate the decimal point when they say it because it's easier to say. So we say that all the time. We say 1015. Or if you're super dehydrated, so here's, let's talk about the dehydration first before I go there. So just like humans, if you're drinking way, way too much water for some reason, your urine is going to be dilute. So there you're going to have that low specific gravity. You're going to have so much more water in the urine than solutes that you may have something below 1.015. That doesn't necessarily mean the kidneys aren't putting solutes or waste products in there. It means, it may mean that you're just drinking so much water that it's dilute. And the opposite, we've all seen this too. If you're dehydrated or your pet's dehydrated, your urine's gonna be so concentrated, it might be way up on this chart here. This one's at like 1.035 or something, I think. I'm not looking at it while I'm talking. Um, it may be above what we call 1050. 1.050, that's kind of our cutoff range. Anything above 1.050 or quote unquote 1050 means super dehydrated. There's, there's way too much stuff in the urine compared to the amount of liquid that's in the urine. Now that doesn't mean the kidneys are putting too much in the urine. It just means that there's not enough moisture in there. So the stuff that's in the urine looks even more concentrated than it actually is. This is a similar you know, ratio fraction thing, dilution thing like I talked about in the albumin video early on. So that's why urine specific gravity is important, but we have to compare it to the BUN and creatinine. The urine specific gravity by itself doesn't tell us enough because that animal could be super dehydrated or way overhydrated from drinking too much, so we don't know. Another thing we look at on the complete urinalysis, and this is the only, the only other thing I'm gonna talk about right now because a complete urinalysis is a whole nother video, but compared to the urine specific gravity when we're looking at kidney function, we'll also look at protein in the urine. And this is where it gets real complicated and we need a whole separate video to talk about this because the kidneys kind of do two things. One is they remove waste products and they put them in the urine and they make the urine more concentrated and that's the urine specific gravity. 
But the kidneys also have to keep all the important stuff. They can't just get rid of everything. They have to keep the important stuff. One of those things is protein, like the albumin that I talked about in a prior video. They've got to recycle that and keep that in the bloodstream. So if the kidneys aren't working properly, not only will you see them not taking out enough waste product, you may also see them losing the protein instead of keeping it. So you may see protein in the urine. You're not supposed to see protein in the urine or not much. So if there's protein in the urine, which shows up on the urinalysis, that's another indication that the kidneys aren't working properly. So we'll have to talk more about that later. It's just another, it's just an indication of how the kidneys are very complicated and the urinalysis can become complicated. And that's why you have to look at everything, everything compared to the blood work and how the patient's looking. And there's lots of factors, it's complicated.